I, I talked to the boys. We had a major discussion because obviously we're talking about like, okay, whatever, not, we should snitch back. That what should be done. KJ didn't want to get like start the immediate violence. We didn't want to go straight into like bloodshed, which is fair. Smart. My plan is we strike back, not by going after them and shooting them, but by locating the person who owns their home and planting a firearm on that person. I have two thoughts about this whole situation. Number one, actually, I, I'm going to give you three thoughts, Ray. Thought number one, this plan is fucking brilliant. I actually think you cooked up something marvelous. Thanks. It's actually very fucking smart. It's brilliant. Point number two, I think it's too much in this instance. I think, you know, there's an eye for an eye. I feel like we're fucking decapitating. Sorry, let me take out my SIM card. Yes, but... We'll call when I'm out of this meeting. Goodbye. I just want to quickly clarify something. I am tired of these motherfuckers snitching after... It's, it hasn't even been that many days. On our boys. They're snitching on our boys. And we just... Like, what? We'll, we'll let them go? Or maybe we'll snitch back? No, I want to hit back so hard that they'll ever... They'll never reconsider doing that shit again. Because I'm tired of being fucked with. With these small little... Uh, call here police description of this individual here selling weed because they didn't like the fact the fact that the KJ was selling weed there I'm just tired of it it just doesn't make sense if they want to involve the police and they want to bring the police to their own turf so that they could have fucking arrest KJ that's ridiculous to me I hear you I still think it's too far but this actually brings me to my third and final point granted it would give away an element of surprise but I think we should call them out on it they, we, I think we give KJ them did. the chance to remedy it Hey, hey, you snitched on one of our sellers. We want you to pay for it. That's pay not going to work. His jail this, I already know what Buddha's going to say. Fuck it's off. Fine. It wasn't us. It, fuck then off. It wasn't us. Then, you are all fucking then that's, pussies. That's, then that's, Shut the fuck then up. Get off our fucking turf. That's fine, Ray. Let him say that then. But then, Ray, you have to think a few steps ahead in this instance. Then, when we go and act and retaliate, we can say we gave you the opportunity to resolve this peacefully, and you said no. Okay, but here's the thing. KJ already told Speedy. It's about Speedy. precedence, Ray, and it's about if we want... They're all for, you know, making sure these things are resolved amicably or resolved in a diplomatic manner. Let's give them the chance for diplomacy. Listen. Let's show them that we can offer them diplomacy, fair diplomacy, Ray, and then when, or rather in when, they reject it, and I do agree with you, Ray, they will reject it. We still offered it. No, no, you don't understand. We already did that. KJ went to Speedy and had a heated conversation with him. Speedy actually talked to me after. He was like, KJ came at me and was yelling at me and, and telling me like, uh, you guys did this and shit like that. And no, we fucking did it. And no, we're not getting your business. We don't give a fuck about you guys. And fuck off. And he just ran away. He already did it. He literally already, this whole conversation already happened with Speedy. I hear you. Let me talk to them. Mickey, listen, you are on equal grounds as I am. If you would like to talk to them, go for it. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't like the idea. But if you want to, I'm not going to tell you what or what not to do. Because I am not your leader. Okay? Ooh, I like that. That's all there is to it. I'm tired of trying to be a leader and telling people what to do. Because that's not my role. I'll just advise against it. If you, don't like, if you want to do it, you do it. But uh, I want to say some other things. Number one. Uh, yes, go ahead. Number one, there's some other stuff I want to talk about. Uh, I talked to OTT and, and JP about this. I genuinely think expanding the board members and getting more allies that have solid positions within the city is a good idea. And I think we need to start doing that sooner than later, especially now that most people have started to found their like solid foothold. Foot you know what I mean? And someone who I think would actually be a very good, you know, sorry. Can I have like literally 10 seconds? Yeah, of course. I have to close my door, chat. I'm always really loud. Okay, sorry about that. Some individuals that I think would be very good for that would be... Uh, what do you call it? Mr. K and probably Rami would be like a package deal with him. I talked to Mr. K. I've been working a lot with him in the last few days. So is JP. Mr. K is a valuable asset. Incredibly valuable. To the point where I'd be like, I think we should offer him a executive position on a contract. And he said to me, I even said this to him. I was like, yo, I think you, you would actually fit really well in with the, the board of executives in the company. And he said, Raymond, if you write me up a good contract and it's intriguing enough, I will take it. So, this is just a hypothetical. It could be a non-existent. I know it could be a fake hope, whatever it is, of either uh, potentially having him or not. Obviously, OTT has already told me his doubts and everything along those lines. But I think 
that would be a very, very good board member to add. Anyway, um, obviously you can think more about that. Think about what kind of role they could play. If they want them as an acid, they uh, want I think them this as makes executive. sense. Frankly, I was um, the lumber union had another offer from Lang. They went with it. So the uh, I need I, to I, inform all, about, all of you about this. By the way, whatever we do, please do not go and take it out on them. At the end of the day, it was a business partnership. We gave them one offer. Lang gave them another. They went with Lang. It's all fine. We can still work with them as business partners, and we should, especially with respect to getting lumber. Motherfucker, but, I can get us an entire lumber union of our own. These motherfuckers, we help them get their entire household worth of positions back, and they turn on us because of a, a better offer from Lang. Shit, uh, there fucking was answers an this. Issue. There was also disrespect from us towards them. Oh, by, oh, I remember the way they, they solved that and it seemed like they were fine. So I think they're just using that as an excuse. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Nor do I really care. Listen, the lumber union was good. You found it was very interesting. I went and just tried to buy wood from people today. I ordered 700 planks of wood and was quoted $8 per plank. They delivered it directly to our door on five wood pallets and we got everything transported within like 20 minutes the first time they came around. It was yeah, insane. That's fine. We don't have to work with, with the lumber union then exclusively. No. What I'm trying I guess to I'm say, saying is they made like, their choice and that's fine. We were looking to go into a much deeper partnership with them as in like we were going to help them in a much bigger way. Oh, I'm aware. Their operations outside of lumber. That's fine with what they went with. But because of all this, I do agree we need more allies and partners and specifically with this, uh, I don't know, hacking USB bullshit. It's only a matter of time until we get some sort of, I don't know, a blueprint of one of these. Yeah, be respectful, maybe please. a new security hacking tool for this the updated security. And please be respectful, guys. My mods are trying their best. Big money w to the mods. In. And frankly, we really only have a crew of you, Benji, Jean-Paul, maybe OTT, but he's an old man like me and is kind of retired. That's three people. So if you're telling me that you could bring K on for a job like that, Ray... I need you guys to ass assemble a of fucking robbing shit. I need you to build out that fucking crew with John Paul. Okay. And I, if you guys agree with it, I'll give him an offer. I already know the though, Ray, the, yeah, I maybe work with, uh, it might be that you want to work with John Paul about it or figure it out, but I guess here's the thing. They value respect and their own sort of uh, legacy a lot. And these guys are fucking chain gang. So, you know. I think whatever offer you give them, it has to be non-exclusive, if you know what I oh, mean. Oh, I, I already accounted for that, yeah. It'd be similar to what we do, I know. Hey, you ready for the old the little thing we were going to do? I can drive over. Okay, just wanted to help you get some money back for that turbo. One. Uh, no, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I really need that group, group 6 job. You got, a, you got a kit with you, or? No, but I, I can pick her up. Okay, okay, I'll meet you at G6 HQ. Yeah, like, give me three to four minutes, just finishing up a meeting. Okay, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. See you soon. Yep, I need to wrap this up because there's someone that wants to do a vault. A group of six with me, and I'm not going to be around for too much longer. Um, I have a new car. It's outside. Uh, That's going to be useful for us. Turbos are absolutely insane. There's so much I need to catch you up on. Run through the rest of it quickly. There's other people that I think would be uh, interesting to work with the company. Sis says he was interested. I think we should start actually digging into that. I heard that Sis and them also work in lumber. Uh, that could be an, another amazing connection for lumber. I've heard, um, like I said, a lot of people are buying cars. Cars apparently were restocked yesterday. A lot of people have them. I bought one very good. It's got a turbo in it. It's upgrade. looks nice. I'm probably going to park it. I'm probably not going to park. I think that we, when we buy personal vehicles, we shouldn't park them here because it gives the police a reason to raid this location if you ever get raided. God, I'm going to bring that up in a meeting. Please bring that up in a meeting if I'm not around. Um, that's very important. That's actually Can that last... Can you text me Sizz's number? Yes, did you hear that last part? Because that last thing was very important. What was it again? One no one beside OTT should park their car at this home. Noted. Cons, uh, bro, uh, please stop trolling chat. One other thing. Cons for your... Dude, dude I'm, I'm going to give you last warning. Uh, if you keep I'm trolling chat, I will probably ban you in every single chat. A, uh, partnership with please. Uh, Pitar. Sorry, I'm cooked right now. I don't need to see trolling like that. I'd love that. Okay, I want to get board approval from it. Again, this is just... Pitar wants to run his own operation. I want us to have a close relationship with Pitar. Pretty much it. I agree to a relationship with Pitar as long as you can justify the fact that he's completely trustworthy. Okay. Okay. All right. I think um, 
Hey, you need to be thoughtful about how you position this to uh, A and Rami. I, I'm I going to. Uh, trust me, I'm going to put a lot of thought into it. Today's not the day I'm going to do it. Yeah, I don't think we want you to join the company. I think it's we want to partner with you, but at a higher level. I think you can go with it two ways. Maybe ask them what they would want to do. Exactly. You can go about it two ways, in my opinion. You can genuinely just ask them, would they be interested in actually joining the company? They don't have to leave Chain Gang. That's not what I'm asking. And trust me, don't, I will phrase it in a good way. I just don't want to start phrasing that now. I need, I need to rest before I make that type of decision. I've been awake for far too long. 